Here's why you don't need to be an expert in picking stocks and understanding every single one of them to become a millionaire. Creating a core portfolio, putting these six ETFs in your portfolio, which we're going to talk about in this video, you cover every major market, country, alternative investments with amazing returns. Not only that, investing in ETFs, you buy a whole lot of small portions of some of the biggest companies out there in the world with great track records dating decades back. To start off, let's check out what an ETF really is. ETF, short for Exchange Traded Funds, is a type of pooled investment security. Typically, ETFs will track a particular index, sector, commodity or other assets. To simplify, an ETF is a basket of different stocks in the same industry or market that you can buy. So, like I said earlier, you will own a small portion of a lot of businesses. These can be bought on the stock exchange just as any other regular stock. In this video, we're going to go over six sort of ETFs to invest in to create the best diversified portfolio to become rich. These are your core stock ETF. This ETF will become your core investment in your portfolio. The best international ETF. Focusing on different parts of the world will make your portfolio a lot more diversified and more protected against any stock market falls. The best dividend ETF. This ETF will focus on stocks that will pay out dividends. The best growth ETF. This ETF will focus on stocks that will grow over time in value. The best alternative investments ETF and the best fixed income ETFs, i.e. bonds. Let's start right away with number one, having a core ETF. This ETF will make up the bulk of your investment portfolio. And because of that, we don't want it to focus on a niche industry, but focus on something as a whole. For this core pick is VTI, the Vanguard Totem Stock Market ETF. As the core of your portfolio, I want this to be as broad as possible. And what better way to do that than an ETF that tracks the stock market as a whole. And it does so by tracking the CRISP, USA Total Market Index. This index tracks large, mid and small cap businesses diversified across growth and value. This ETF is a one size fits all and is very low cost. It holds about 4,000 stocks in every major sector like financials, energy, industrials, real estate and technology with holdings in some of the largest businesses in the world like Tesla, Berkshire Hathaway, Microsoft, Google and Apple. This stock has an average return of over 12% in the last 10 years. With the drip calculator, we can find out how much you would have accumulated would you have invested $10,000 in this ETF 10 years ago. Please remember, past performances are no indication of how this ETF will do in the future. This would come down to 31,000. Although this ETF isn't a dividend focused ETF, it still pays out some dividends around the 1.5% mark. This would mean you get around $150 for every $10,000 you invest. This isn't crazy high, but once again, this ETF is not focused on dividends. So this is a great little benefit. Investing in ETFs means you need to pay an expense ratio. Express as a percentage. The expense ratios are fees charged to investors to cover a fund or ETFs operating costs. They are deducted from the dividends distributed, not the principal. It is a passively managed ETF with an expense ratio of only 0.03%. One of the lowest expense ratios that there is. Meaning you will pay $3 for every $10,000 you invest. The dividend you gain from this ETF easily covers that. Combining VTI with the other ETFs on this list, you're on the great track of becoming a millionaire. As for an ETF focusing on the international stock market, I went for VXUS, the Vanguard Total International Stock ETF. VXUS tracks the FTSE Global All Cap X US Index, which measures investment returns of stocks located outside of the US. They invest in over 7,500 international stocks with top holdings in companies like Nestle, Tencent Holdings, Shell, ASML, Taiwan Semiconductors, and more. Here you can get a great view of this ETF being all over the world. 
both in developed countries and developing countries. It invests in all sectors, including financial services, healthcare, utilities, basic materials, and energy. This ETF has an average return of around 4.5% over the last 10 years. With a calculator, we can find out how much you would have accumulated would you have invested $10,000 in this ETF 10 years ago. This would come down to 15,000. This is not as high as the previous one, but looking at the holdings and how focused it is internationally, I'll take the lower average return, diversifying the portfolio. And meaning this ETF is not doing as good as we would have hoped right now, this doesn't mean it won't do better in the future. This ETF isn't a dividend focused ETF too, like VTI. Despite this, it has an impressive dividend yield of around 3.5%. This means investing $10,000 in VXUS means you will get around $300 for every $10,000 you invest. The expense ratio is a little higher on this one, 0.07%, meaning you pay $7 for every $10,000 you invest, which again is easily covered by the dividends you get paid by this ETF. Number three on our list is a dividend focused ETF, which is an ETF that has stocks in its basket that focused on paying out dividends to shareholders. We are going to stick with Vanguard, as I think they have one of the greatest track records of all time. I am talking about Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, VYM for short. This ETF tracks the FTSE High Dividend Yield Index. VYM holds a lower amount of stocks compared to the others. 444 holdings with top holdings in Johnson & Johnson, Exxon, GP Morgan, Procter & Gamble and many more. They focus on the US's sectors like finance, health technology, energy and utility. This ETF has an average return of over 11%, which is absolutely insane for a dividend ETF like VYM. If you'd invested $10,000 10 years ago, you would have accumulated $28,000 reinvesting the dividends. VYM pays a 3% dividend yield, meaning you would get $300 worth of dividends every year, not counting in reinvesting these dividends to buy more of VYM. The expense ratio is 0.06%, meaning you need to pay $6 for every $10,000 you invest, which is peanuts compared to the dividend yield and accumulating of capital over time. Number four of our list is the other side of the spectrum of dividends which is a growth ETF. This ETF focuses on stocks that tend to increase in value by an increase in stock price due to the nature of the business and its industry it's in. The best known growth industry is information technology. The best growth ETF, in my opinion, is the Vanguard Growth ETF, VUG for short. VUG seeks to track the performance of the CRSP US large cap growth index which includes the largest companies market cap wise. VUG holds over 250 stocks in its holdings. These holdings include Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google and Tesla. Nearly 50% of its holding is in technology as this industry includes the most growth of the last years. As IT stocks are in a slum right now and aren't doing the best as of lately, it doesn't mean they won't recover. Also looking at the latest news like chat, GPT and AI that's coming up in this world, I am sure that IT stocks will do great in the future. Technology will be here forever, so a growth ETF like this will be a great addition to your portfolio. This ETF has an astounding average return of over 13% over the last 10 years. As this is a growth ETF, we can expect it to pay a high dividend yield like the other ETFs. It will only pay a small 0.61% dividend yield. This means you would only get $61 for every $10,000 you would invest per year. Despite this, this easily covers the 0.04% expense ratio this ETF has, which translates to paying only $4 as costs for every $10,000 you invest. With all these ETFs, we're pretty deep into the stock side of our portfolio. To diversify our portfolio, we want to own something other than just stocks. And what better thing to own than, yep, 
real estate with this etf you can own thousands of properties you don't own them physically but you own them by owning a piece of a business and not just one but hundreds the etf that i'm talking about is the SCHH, the Schwab US REIT ETF. This ETF tracks the total returns of an index composed US Real Estate Investment Trust, REIT for short, classified as equities. This ETF has holdings in Prologies REIT Incorporated, American Tower REIT Corp, and the very well known REIT Realty Income. This ETF consists of 103 stocks. It doesn't directly invest in real estate, but invests in REITs that invest in real estate. So adding this ETF to your portfolio, you are immediately adding over 100 REITs to your portfolio. This ETF has an average annual return of 5.3% of the last 10 years. Meaning that if you'd invest $10,000 in this ETF, you would have accumulated $16,000. $784.11. It has a dividend yield of 2.3%, meaning you would get $234 in dividends every year. With an expense ratio of 0.07%, you would pay, you guessed it, $7 for every $10,000 you invest. All in all, if you can't afford to invest in physical real estate, investing in an ETF like the SCHH will still give you exposure to the real estate market with the flexibility and liquidity offered by the stock market investments. Because, just like stocks, these ETFs trade on the stock market. Let's get to the last ETF on this list. Next to real estate, we've got another great ETF to add to your portfolio to create a complete, well-rounded portfolio that can help to mitigate the volatility and risk in the stock market. Secondly, with all the volatility going on in the stock market right now, with the raise of interest rates, the war in Ukraine, there's a lot of uncertainties going on right now. Still going strong with Vanguard is BND, the Vanguard Total Bonds Market ETF. This ETF tracks the Bloomberg US Aggregate Float Adjusted Index, tracking the performance of the US investment grade bond market. Investment grade means grades from A and higher. Lower than a credit rating of A, so triple B and lower, is viewed as riskier junk bonds. Junk bonds represent bonds issued by companies that are financially struggling and have a higher risk of defaulting or not paying their interest payments or repaying the principal to investors overall. BND holds currently over 10,000 bonds, so you can say it's very well diversified. More than two-thirds of the portfolio consists of US government bonds, which are considered the safest kind of bonds out there. Bonds tend to act like stocks that are paying dividends. The difference is stocks are partial ownership of a company, meaning you have the right to a part of the business's profits. Whereas with bonds, these are liabilities for a company. See it as a loan where the company issuing the bond has to pay interest on the bond, which goes to you, the investor. The yield on these bonds is about 2.2%. So if you'd invest $10,000 10 years ago, you would get about $220 every year. The expense ratio is 0.03%, meaning, well, I'm not even going to mention how much it is for every $10,000 you invest, you guys already know it. And there you have it, the ultimate ETF portfolio, the best ETFs in the world to add to your already existing stock portfolio to get on track to become a millionaire. I know it's a very long video and I've been working long on this. So I would appreciate you guys subscribing and liking the video. It helps me out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more about stocks and the stock market, check out some of my other videos. For now, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.